Data drain. Like it or not, it was the same attack Scaith had used to put his friend Orca into a coma. That skill. Now, I understand. You are the same as the virus. To think that I was saved by someone like you. No! That's not... I don't even know what's... Do not lie to me. Recently, many places within the world have been damaged by a virus. Those who willfully spread the virus and destroy this world for their own amusement, they... They shall receive no mercy. No, that's not me, I... Aura had given him the bracelet, and now with his new illegal powers, Kite decided to take action to save his unconscious friend Orca. And alongside Kite, there was always one girl. You didn't even need my help at all, did you? By the way, uh... I guess you can tell that I'm a newbie too. Yeah, it must be pretty obvious, by the way I acted back there. That's hardly the way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Who, me? Hmm. I'm not afraid. No way! Well, alright I am. I'm scared enough for the both of us. My controller is soaked with sweat. So what about you, huh? Her character name was Black Rose. She was the real-life older sister of Kazu, one of the coma victims I mentioned above. She was also a new player. She had just logged on to the world for the first time to try to save her brother. The two of them were working together toward a common goal. Kite's war continued, and soon many other players joined him. Mia, the mysterious rogue cat, and Elk, the young man that cared so much for her. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get ready then. Uh, Mia! Excuse me! You, yes you! That's a unique bracelet. Uh, oh. Can I take a uh, look? Uh, can you see it? Yes, of course. Do you mean to say that you can't see this nice bracelet? Even if you can't see it, as long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? Bracelet? Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see any bracelet, Mia. Well, thanks a lot for letting me look at your bracelet. I have a feeling we're going to meet again. Somehow. Well, see you around. Hmm. Wait, Mia! What about the aromatic grass? Balmung, who along with his sworn friend Orca, had earned the title Descendant of Fianna appeared as well. Draw! Draw your sword! Now! I do not speak with hackers. Then I must ask. I have not been able to contact him since that event. What has become of him? I do understand. But you need to face facts. With you two involved, things get worse. That's how I see it. Am I wrong? And Helba, the legendary super hacker. You don't have time to get depressed. Who are you? A friend, or perhaps a foe. <laughs> a meddler with a warning. <laughs> it's not that hard to imagine. Like I said, someone is always watching you. 
Amidst the increasing turmoil of the world, they each had their own reasons, but together, they set out to deal with the illegal monsters called data bugs. Aura? I see you received the mail I sent you. Yet, however, it's too late. Wait! There's something I have to ask you. Kite finally managed to reunite with Ara, but immediately after Kite found her, she was deleted by Skaith. Aura's data was chopped into segments and frozen in various locations around the world. There was a battle between the first phase, Skaith, and Kite, the holder of the bracelet. Kite managed to gain a difficult victory, but what he couldn't imagine at the time was it was just the opening battle in a long, long war. Kite's story shall continue. But first there's the mystery of the brilliant AI programmer and creator of the world, Harold Hewick, and the lost epic poem, Epitaph of Twilight. There's little doubt that the second network crisis of 2010 was a direct result of the world. It was awful. It caused catastrophic damage to travel, communication, and healthcare industries all over the planet. What exactly was it that caused the network crisis? It was the very power that was being researched at Project GU. In other words, the network version of God. My efforts were entirely devoted to technical research and the existence of God in the world. It became a story of human foolishness and a paradise abandoned by God. 